Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Got a letter today from Paul, and Paul wants to know about warranty. He says, we're buying a new Kubota. What's your opinion about extended warranty? Well, Paul, I hate to tell you, I am not a big fan of extended warranties, and I should be. I used to work in the dealership world. The profit margin on extended warranties for a dealer is really good. They ought to be selling them. And on off-road vehicles like uh, UTVs and ATVs, a lot of them come with really short warranties, and, and the dealer is going to push you to buy an extended warranty on those. They might have a six-month warranty, and if something goes wrong in, in month seven and you didn't buy the extended warranty, they're not going to work with you. They're going to try to sell you that extended warranty, which is where they make a lot of their profit. I have a philosophical problem selling a product that I think might fail in month seven that's new. And I, I'm the same way with tractors. In 11 years in retail, I never sold an extended warranty. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm the world's worst extended warranty salesperson, but I just don't think they're worth it. Well, I wanna make three points today about extended warranty. And point number one is, before you go into extended warranty, let's find out exactly what is covered. In your base warranty, and your extended warranty, and it's something you need to know up front. Let's say the warranty on this tractor is four years. Well, what is covered for four years? Well, a lot of times on a four-year warranty, you'll have two years that pretty much cover everything except wear items, and two years that cover powertrain. Now, a lot of times, salesperson won't tell you that. He'll say, it's got a four-year warranty, and you'll go on. And then you get in year three, and there's a problem the rear view mirror falls off of it or the steering wheel breaks, I, you know, whatever. It's not covered because it's not powertrain. Well, what, what is powertrain? Generally, powertrain covers anything that oil touches. So it's internal stuff mostly. It's not stuff around the outside of the tractor. And if you run a, a, a tree uh, stob through a tire, that's not warranty. It's, it's manufacturer's defects. So on a tractor, generally you've got part of the warranty covers most everything and the other part just covers powertrain. So know that up front. Having said that, what does the extended warranty cover exactly? It's generally an extension of the powertrain warranty. And with war normal care, you're not going to have a big powertrain warranty on a tractor for 10 years. So are you really getting anything with that extended warranty? In my mind as a consumer, uh, no. And in, as a dealer, I have trouble selling something I don't believe in and I really don't believe you're gonna get a lot out of your extended warranty. Now the second point I wanna make about warranty. If you're trying to sell me an extended warranty, is that from Kubota, if I'm buying a Kubota tractor? Or is that some aftermarket company? If it's from Kubota, it has a little bit more credibility because if I break something and let's let's say I got a seven year warranty, extended warranty, and I break something in year five or six, they're more likely to cover that because they want me to buy another Kubota and buy more Kubota products down the road. A lot of times those extended warranties are aftermarket suppliers. It's an outside source. A lot of times some kind of finance company that administers that warranty. Their high profit margin for the dealer, their high profit margin for that company as well, which tells you they generally don't pay off. It's, it's a pretty safe bet that powertrain is going to last for the length of that warranty. The last point I want to make about extended warranty, when you think about it, if I've got a seven year powertrain warranty, extended warranty, and I have a failure in year six, it's, to me, really hard to sell the company that it was a manufacturer's defect if it lasted six years. And that's how they're going to try to get out of it. They're going to try to claim it was something else that caused it, not, not the manufacturer's defect if it lasted that long. Brush hogs have like six or eight year gearbox warranties. And you look at a lot of those gearboxes, they're, they're really built heavy. I don't think those warranties are worth anything because generally what makes a gearbox that size fail is an impact and that's not covered. So it's really, to me, hard to justify if a tractor lasted six years and had 
a failure in the last year of that warranty and it lasted that long that it was really a manufacturer's defect. So for those reasons, I'm not a big extended warranty fan. Now, I'll tell you when to get the extended warranty. If the dealer will throw it in to get you to buy the tractor, by all means get it. If you can use that as a negotiating tool and get it thrown in, get it. You can get it at half price, maybe, or whatever. But paying full price for an extended warranty I don't think is a good deal. And finally, certain customers just worry more than others. If you're the kind of person that would, would always buy the extended warranty and would lose sleep at night, if you didn't have the full warranty, by all means get it. If it's peace of mind, gonna, it's going to give you peace of mind, get the extended warranty. If the dealer sold you the extended warranty, they're, they're kind of more on your side because they made money off of that. If you have a failure late in the warranty, the dealer's going to be on your side. But the company paying the warranty out is not. They don't want to pay warranty. Uh, I was told early on in my career in the farm equipment business, get your mind around this now, no company wants to pay warranty. They don't have the money that they need to spend. They would rather not cover it. So that's something you need to know. So long and short of it, Paul, I'm not a big fan of the extended warranties. I survive on web traffic and I greatly appreciate you watching my videos. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the mic face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website where I have the Tractor Fun Store with some really cool items for the tractor enthusiast. Helps me support this channel. Here's another video you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.